All right, so we're covering uh, this part of off-page SEO uh, regarding social profile branding and creation uh, and optimizing that for the client. So uh, we've been working with Colorbright Painting. And uh, before we begin, I'll just say uh, you can refer to Joe's video um, under the agency setup side of things where he goes into a little more detail uh, as to where, uh, where to set up these uh, branded profiles. Just the same thing really applies, except you're doing it for the client now versus uh, for yourself. Um, so I'm just going to show the example of Facebook because it's arguably the one of the most important ones to to get right. Um, so let me pull up my uh, ClickUp task sheet here, and we'll just kind of work our way through here. So let me actually go back. All right, so we have social profile branding is the task, and we have you know I just give a list here of different ones that you should look for. Uh, obviously, Facebook is what we're going to cover here, but there are other ones as well. Twitter, Instagram, Yelp, uh, YouTube channel is good, and a LinkedIn company profile is, uh, is great too. All right, so uh, let's go into um, optimizing content links for the Facebook page here. So I'm just going to click on this one. And I just want to go through all of the uh, checklists here. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is pull up our Facebook page for this client. All right, and uh, so we wanna look at the name. So the name is important. We wanna make sure that matches our Google My Business, which as you recall, is Color Bright Painting of Long Island. And we also wanna look at the vanity URL. So let me go ahead and pull that up and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so we have um, the business name right here, Color Bright Painting. And we have the vanity at URL here. Uh, as you can see in the URL above, it's facebook.com slash color bright painting, the number one, as opposed to a bunch of little junk characters that don't mean anything. Um, so you wanna definitely claim your vanity URL and name. And I believe you may need a certain number of likes on the page to, to qualify. It used to be something like 50 uh, likes on the page in order to allow you to do that. But when you're ready for that, Again, you need to make sure that you are a manager of the page and uh, you'll see this about section here. So I'm gonna click on that. And you know, we can see the name is Color Bright Painting. So since we've changed it recently, I really want this to match the Google My Business listing. So I'm gonna change that to include this. Color Bright Painting of Long Island, continue. Um, yes, I'm happy with that, request the change. Sometimes it can take a few days. Uh, in, in the case of this, they should have no reason to reject it, but uh, just be aware you are ultimately, um, you know, kind of just having to bow to Facebook's uh, moderators here with, with that stuff. But they, you know, for the most part, they should let that pass. There's no reason not to. Uh, the other thing I wanna look at is now the username. So right now we've got Colorbrate Painting number one. I wanna see if I can change that to reflect the full uh, name that we changed to, Color Bright Painting of Long Island. And let's see if it'll let me create that. All right, so it's been created and now we can uh, refer people to that URL, so that's good. All right, and let's go back over to ClickUp. All right, so we did our best there to submit that business name. Yes. Um, we want to make sure the images for the profile and the cover are there. And again, I think Joe showed, um, you know, how to get these made or how, you know, the process for doing that. So make sure it's something there. It's always nice to have a call to action in the, in the actual cover, such as the phone number and the website domain. So that one looks good. We'll go ahead and close that out. Um, and that should pretty much cover what I want to do on the about section because the rest of this stuff is actually covered under page info. So I'm just going to click that and kind of work my way down from top to bottom. All right. So for the description, I typically will just copy and paste directly from what we put here in the website. So let's go to the website. And you should recall that we uh, can view the source code here 
and just find the description that way. So I'm just going to do a search for the description that we created. All right, so we've got Color Bright Paintings, a full service painting company, blah, blah, blah. Let's copy this and get the whole thing. Okay. And I'm just going to select all and paste and just replace what we have there and save that. Now for categories, I know on Google My Business, you know, we wanted to pick just one main category based on the Google algorithm, but for Facebook, that doesn't really apply. So we want to put as many here as possible. So I'm just going to type in the word painting and see what comes up. And uh, not painting lessons, that really doesn't apply. Let me see if painter. Okay, so maybe house painting is, is, is the main thing we're looking at there. I can probably put in contractor. That's a similar keyword. Maybe painting company. So it doesn't look like there's many other things here for painting. Uh, let's see. I could probably put in pressure washing though. No, nope, that's not allowed either. Maybe staining. I'm just trying a few different combinations out here. So it looks like there's very limited options really for, for this particular category. I would try variations though, just to you know kind of cover all your bases. Look at your keyword list from the keyword research section you did, um, just to see if anything else pops up. So I wouldn't put painting lessons. Um, contractor. Um, Probably look at like, might be able to look at home improvement, home decor. Hmm. Actually, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just gonna keep it as house painting and contractor and, and save. All right, and then make sure the phone number matches correctly. So we wanna definitely confirm that. And I'm just gonna verify that. So we've got 631-242-1534. All right, that looks good. Make sure the website matches. And I can tell you right now, this is missing the secure version of the website since we've updated it. So we got to put the S there, right? And again, you just want to use the exact full URL here that you see, whether it includes www or not. In this case, they're using www, right? So I'm just going to copy that come over here and just override. It's the same exact thing. The only difference with what we're about to save now is that it includes the S for the secure version of the site. All right, I can leave that alone. Wi-Fi is not important. Yes, address is important. Make sure that you have uh, this here. This particular business does not service business or customers at their business. So, um, you know, uncheck that if you want to hide the address though, but it's uh, it's still good to keep inside of the actual uh, data that they have. All right. Uh, and then service area. This is where I usually will like to put in that list of cities um, that we've been optimizing for that we got from a client. So I'm just going to pull up that list. Let me find it real quick. All right. So we've got this list here. Right, Southampton, West Hampton. So I'm just going to start pasting these in and make sure that we have them correct. Southampton, New York. Yeah, you wanna make sure you have the right state. There's a few different Southamptons, obviously. All right, so Southampton, New York City. We have West Hampton, New York City. Uh, let me see here. What's the difference here? Oh, West Hampton Beach. Okay, so West Hampton. Uh, we have Saga Punic. Okay, that one. All right, let me pause it real quick and add all these because I don't accept, uh, expect you to just watch me 
bore you to death by adding these cities, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got these here, and uh, I guess I should have really mentioned earlier that you want to rank order these in terms of your 10 most important cities because they do limit you um, to only 10 neighborhoods, cities, or regions. So um, pick the most important ones first. Uh, pick a larger area if you can, which may even include those cities, and uh, then you can uh, just fill these out to, uh, to the max that it allows you. And again, that's just 10. So once you're happy with that, click Save Changes. All right, and then let's go ahead and update our hours of operation. Uh, all right, so we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. They're closed Sunday, so seven, seven a.m. Uh, let me just actually confirm the hours of operation here. All right, so we've got. 7 to 5, Monday to Friday. All right, good. And then Saturday, 7 to 3. That's right. So let's change that. Okay. Just make sure that looks good. And then click Save Changes. All right. Uh, price range, you don't really have to worry about. I mean, if you want to update it, I usually just pick something, you know, something in the middle. So I'll just do that. Uh, products, this is where you can put in some keywords that you want. I mean, don't get crazy with it, but you can start to add some, uh, some things. So I may put interior painting, comma, exterior painting. Uh, we're going to put cedar restoration, and pressure washing. And I'll just save changes. Uh, for the privacy policy, you're going to want to get that directly from the website. And this is definitely a good thing to have, assuming they have one, which most websites do. Um, if they don't have one, maybe something worth uh, creating for them or having the client create. Um, so let me actually do this. I'm going to do a search just to see if maybe they have one. No. So all I did here was a search of the entire domain for the word privacy and uh, nothing's coming up. So, um, let me see if there's anything else. All right. Uh, so in this case, we're going to skip it for now, but I'm uh, going to recommend that we create a a privacy policy page for the website. And then once that is done, we would enter it here. All right. Uh, so that looks good. Let me go back to my checklist here and just see where we're at with everything. So we completed phone description categories. Yes. Service areas offered. Yes. Hours of operation. All right. And then call to action button. So let's go back. We can close this now. There's nothing to save. It just saves as you go. Uh, so right here we have a learn more button. This is essentially your call to action button. And this should do something. Uh, don't just leave it to be the default. So let's edit the button. And you can do a few things here. You can have them contact you uh, over Messenger, which is usually pretty good. Um, they could also just shop with us and go you know, to uh, your store. They can learn more about the business. It's like a learn more and that could go to a URL, right? And you put your website link here. So I'll probably just do that to keep it simple. Um, so again, we'll get the color bright link. And, you know, I may even put, no, I'll just probably leave it as this. You could go direct to the contact us page. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to make it easy for them to get to the home page. And that's all we can uh, always go back and change that if we wanted to. All right, so again, if you wanna change the website link, that's how you do that. But uh, that looks good. So now when someone goes to your Facebook page or to your client's Facebook page and they click that learn more button, we can do it by testing it. It will go to the website of the business. All right, so let's go back over here and we created the call to action button. 
All right, and now that is it for the Facebook page. It is optimized. We have added all the information. We'll have to come back here and just check. Let me refresh this. All right, so we got the new page here. So Color Bright Painting of Long Island is what we named it to. So just have to go there now. And let's look at the About section. All right, so the vanity username is good. The uh, URL also perfect. And we're just waiting on the name of the business to get updated to Color Bright Painting of Long Island but we've got the business hours, uh, the details are filled out and everything else looks good. So you can go in here and add some more stuff. You have the business has awards and that sort of thing. Um, but what I showed you is really uh, the bulk of what you need to worry about and will provide you the most benefit uh, or at least you know, in terms of the client, provide the client the most benefit from an SEO standpoint. All right, that is it for optimizing the Facebook page. Um, similar process for some of these other ones. Instagram is very simple, really. There's not much to do there other than add a profile link in your bio. Um, the rest of these would use a similar profile image and cover photo. Uh, so you can use the same one really for all the properties. Um, but again, if you have any questions about some of this stuff, again, just go back to uh, Joe's video on setting up these social profiles for your agency because the same uh, principles and techniques apply here as well. All right, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.